Hello and welcome to the Kern County Raceway Park Championship. It is K5 Championship Season 5, and we are here in the Tour Mods here today, and the Modifieds. This is my first time ever running a Modified of either kind, whether you're talking SK Modified or Tour Modified. So, uh, pretty nervous. Um, anytime you get into a new vehicle and you're out there running hard, or at least running, uh, trying to keep pace, can be a little bit scary, because you never know, maybe the car's going to do something you don't expect. And I uh, already had one snap in practice for me on the low line here at Kern County. So I'm going to try to avoid doing that. I think I'm going to be sticking to that second lane as much as I can, because I really don't want to wreck here today. I really want to have a clean race after the mistake I had in the last league okay, race I did. I'd like to have a clean run, so... Ooh. Not a good run through one and two there. It kind of snapped on me a little bit. So we'll get a run to the line again here. I consider starting at the back, but you get qualifying points in this series. And, uh, that can be valuable, so. We're gonna see what we can do. Not a very good qualifying effort, though. 17.5. Oh, never mind, okay. Apparently that's decent. <laughs> Went from whatever I was, 17th to 3rd. So I guess it's not so bad. Behind uh, two guys that can't feel too bad about qualifying behind. So. Did a little bit of practice. Not as much as I would have liked, maybe. But did a little bit of practice. And I guess we're pretty good on hot lap speed. Much better than I expected to be. First time driving this car. But... uh. We'll see what happens during the race. I just, I really don't want to end up pushing it too hard and wrecking myself and other people. I'm so worried about that after the last race I messed up, so. I really focused in practice trying to, uh, you know, get a, a decent pace, but make sure that I'm not being reckless either. And I do know that uh, it sounds like the, the car's going to be on the right rear potentially, which is interesting. So I'm going to maybe try to be gentle on the exits, see if I can protect that right rear so I don't spin out, which would be pretty bad. I'm like, check. I gotcha. Got Brandon on mic. Heard him just fine. Hopefully people can hear me. Is my mic set up? Sometimes it likes to disconnect itself. It looks like it's fine, though. I'm going to turn my overhead fan on in here. It's kind of hot. Hopefully that will help. We fall to fourth as Wesley qualifies ahead of us. Crack felt kind of weird in, <laughs> in qualifying there. It definitely felt different, and that's why I messed up that first lap. I had to adjust on the fly how I was entering through the corner. It didn't really grip up how I was expecting it to. That's the end of the session, P4. Gavin was having issues, unfortunately. Uh, is he here now? He didn't get to qualify. He might not be able to, to enter, which really stinks. I hate to see that, because he was having hardware issues. He's out on track, though, so maybe he just didn't qualify. Maybe he's good now. Hope so. But we will get P4. I'm kind of glad. I don't really want to try driving on that bottom lane too much because that's where it snapped on me and uh, don't want to do that so session last lap up sorry we didn't look at the league standings we are currently tied with Cabe for the championship lead and Cabe is not here so looking good for us there I guess but I'm not going to get too Invested in that. I really good need luck, to just everybody. focus on having a decent race here today. Yeah, good luck, everybody. Good luck. Alright. I have enjoyed how this thing's driven so far. It's 
pretty unique. It's got a lot of speed. It really makes its way around this place really fast. Lots of grip, which is pretty interesting. So far in this league, I've already had to learn two new cars now. Yeah, first the super late model, and now this one. I'm pulling my desk away from the wall. I need some, like, dumbbells or something to set on the shelves of my desk so I stop pulling it across the room when I'm driving. Well, not you, but lappers can come in with the leaders. Follow car number zero All right, six in the inside column. All right, we're off and rolling. Only got two sets of tires to put the, on this thing. Three total, if you count the one that we're starting on. Because I can't look right. That's not good. It made me want to check my uh, left and right look buttons, I guess. Um, bad news is we're on the right of Wesley, <laughs> so hopefully he doesn't need to look at us. But uh, I'm excited. I, these league races are so much fun. Um, as much as I am nervous and uh, really hoping I can race go, clean here today. Uh, it's been a lot of fun and I'm also equal parts excited for this one. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to leave lots of room. Just want to have a quiet, clean race if I can. And uh, hopefully have a nice first run in this car. I haven't even really been able to drive around others too much. Got a little bit of that in practice, but not too much. Alright, got the shift down. There's only two gears in this car, which is kind of interesting. Oh, loose! Loose Still race car up ahead. The next car's the leader. Stay high, clear. That was a little scary. That was Mitch. He got loose on the first corner. You now in third. I got a little loose on the exit of turn two. Hopefully I didn't get too far down the track. I might have uh, accidentally been a little too low out of the corner. Delete Leslie. Just done a the car in front of lap time is a 17.6. Stay on that second lane, I think. Fastest just be content four, there. Yeah. Really getting loose on the exit. The setup is meant to be kind of weird, from what I understand. Because uh, Nick wanted some tire wear to affect the car over the run. I wouldn't know the difference for what that's worth, so. Just gonna focus on being uh, patient on the throttle on the exits, and uh, see how this goes. Green so far, which is pretty cool. Kind of a weird nose push. Sometimes. Clear inside. That lap was at 17.8. Yeah, it, it really does weird things on the exits sometimes. I don't know if that's because the setup's weird, or if because I'm not used to the car. I really don't know. That lap was at 17.7. What I'm kind of hoping right now is those two guys pulling away are being rough on their uh, tires, and we're going to find our way forward later. Car inside. Clear. Hopefully I'm giving enough room. This is kind of a strange car because uh, it is really gets loose. Uh, it's kind of a strange car because it's really offset. You've got the wheel sticking out pretty far to the right. So I'm a little uh, uncomfortable just being able to feel out where the, uh, the car is. A little less comfortable than I would like to be. Cap 
Speed is now 1.8. You've just done a 17.8. Gonna keep it smooth. Gonna keep it on that second lane. Like I said. Above that seam there. Oh. Tracy has had a slide. And fallen behind Mitch. That's not gonna be good for his tire either. If this thing is indeed gonna get looser. That is not what he wanted. Assuming it was uh, on exit. Either way, it's gonna hurt that right rear, I guess. Inside. Wesley gets to our inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear. Clears us. That's fine. I'm not really trying to do anything crazy here today. Spot, so we're gonna let him have it. Clean race so far. That's really cool. I know that they uh, recently got the new damage model on these things, didn't they? Didn't get to experience a world without it on this car, but apparently it really helps with the contact, which is cool. I'm feeling pretty darn good. First time, oh, whoa. Kind of tricked my eyes a little bit, because Wesley kind of cut down in the middle of the corner, and uh, Road, made me feel right like now. I was driving a different line or something. It's kind of a weird Two. visual effect for me. Okay, Colton. But uh, we get ourselves a caution, and we're by <laughs> we're still right where we started. And a lot of laps P3. Remember, we can't pit this lap. Daniel, reminding that you cannot pit on the first lap. We need to catch up, though, please. What was the reasoning for not pitting on first lap? So everybody has a chance to catch up. So no one goes a lap down just by pitting. All right. I got you. Not going to be pitting here. Only two sets of tires and 150 laps here to do today. Although, do we want to make it on fuel? That's a good question. I think we'll probably be okay, though. We'll get another caution at some point. An interesting part of driving this car, you've got this big freaking motor right in your way. You can get, like, this blind spot <laughs> with cars in front of you. Pretty obvious thing that anybody that's driven this thing just understands, but the first time I've had to deal with it, kind of a new thing for me. Gotta make sure I'm keeping track of where everybody is, because look, I could be driving right here. Oh, there's a Wesley right there. <laughs> what do you know? Surprise! Could end up uh, with a weird situation if you got like cars hitting the wall on the outside and you can't see them. And you start approaching them much quicker than you expect. That'd be kind of a weird situation. Why Didn't hear anything about what that wreck was. Hopefully everyone's okay. It was just maybe a self-spin. Maybe not even any wall hit. Everyone's doing alright. Is Gavin still out here? It looks like he has been able to race. So I have cool. my eight pillar set to plexi glass, but it's solid and it won't change for some reason. So I wish I could see. Does this thing About to go green. Yeah, lose on throttle? Doesn't away. feel like it. The pace car is in. You gotta go into your uh, graphic and put that obstruction on. Green, green, green. All right. Get up to speed. Inside. Clear. Inside. Clear inside. Someone looking at the inside. Dante. He's driving in pretty hard. That might be a good idea. Balance out that right front. He could be onto something there. I'm just going to keep it smooth though. 
That's all I'm gonna be worried about. Car inside. So we're inside there. Hey, Almost pushed up hey, too hi. far. P5, that was still there, hold your line. Clear inside. Car inside. I don't know why he's trying to clear me right there. Still there, hold your line. That was very dangerous. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Clear inside. I hate that people keep doing that to me. Car inside. That's happened a lot recently. I mean, I've got to run on the outside and you're just blocking me off. That's very aggressive for lap 25. But, yeah, it's fine. He makes a buy. Just out here trying to be clean. And, uh, I, don't really, I really don't want to end up in a wreck. Maybe I'm just being way too slow and too hard to pass. I don't know. Just trying not to kill my right rear. P5. Got Sean behind us. I don't think I recognize him. I mean, I've, I think I've seen his name before. I don't know if we've raced against him too much. He's right behind us having a good run so far. I'll take it's loose there. Gets this weird like snap feeling in the middle of the corner constantly. Which is what caused me to uh, spin in practice. It's that weird snap on in the center of the corner. I don't know if it's hitting that seam is what's doing it. Could be it. All over the back of me, though. Make me nervous. Just gotta make sure I'm hitting my line. Not worry about too much else. Gosh, that weird pull to the left, though. 97, you're blinking. I can't see where you're at. Right. Yeah, he's blinking really bad. Hopefully that sorts itself out. Alright Colton, the next car is Braggle. I don't feel like we've really lost all that much pace, to be honest. It seems like every lap we're right around the green. So I guess our tires are doing okay for now. That's good consistency, keep it up. You've just done a 17.9. Catching up to Dante again. Top three is really uh, motoring away. Oh, good corner for Dante there. I caught him a whole lot. I wasn't really expecting to. Wow, he's really slow. I don't know what he's doing. Sorry. Still there. Where did he all this speed go all of a sudden? Clear. Car inside. I mean, it, it forced, it made us get past because I had to Clear. slam on the brakes for him so hard. He might be really experiencing a right rear issue or something. I need to get around him ASAP. Oh, hit the apron. Still there, hold your line. Okay, now I'm down where I don't want to be. This is exactly where I self spawn, so we'll just get him around our outside. Man. Dante really caused us to lose a couple spots there. Of course, I could have handled it better. Of course. Chain of events left us falling back a couple spots. 
time was 18.0. Uh oh, slow car down low, is that going to be a caution? You've just done a it's Wesley! Wesley has crashed! And it looks like he's got serious damage, so that's a spot, that really stinks for him. Uh-oh, Gavin's around, too. He's down there on the apron. He also has run into issues. Ooh, what's going on? Yeah, you got like... I was scared I almost killed us both there, Shane. This thing snapped loose. Inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Yeah, I'm on the snap too. There at the bottom. Let Nick fly. Right after you, Shane. Same as the. Uh, Looks like we're getting big snaps. That makes me want to uh, be even easier on that right rear. Lost a couple spots there. But it's okay. Just letting people go by. I don't want to start pushing too hard and wreck myself. Still quite early in this race. The lap time was at 18.1. See handling really coming into play. There's about three different people getting loose up there. We're under caution. It's closed. Reminder not to pit on the first lap that the pits are open. Pit road's open. Pits are open. Somebody give me a heads up when I go. <laughs> Car stopped up there. Do we pit for tires right now? I think we might. We need fuel too, so we might as well come in, I think. Really interesting. Handling coming into play, for sure. That was the idea with the way the car's set up. Car 93, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. Hey Gavin, did you get much damage? I was wondering if you could adjust the tire no, pressures. I didn't get any damage, but I got spun backwards and I couldn't turn around without popping the yellow, so I had to throw. Oh, that stinks. Pit lane speed limit is 35 oh, miles good. per hour. Okay, Colton, we'll fuel you to the end of the race. 10. Yeah, I didn't want to cause yellow, so I guess I'll just... Take the five, five lap penalty or whatever. Three, two, one. Right here. Weird pit stalls here with no lines. 9486. We will report that. Let's see what other people say. Yeah, when I snapped right before you, I barely saved mine. Yeah, I tried to save mine, but it, it never corrected back to the right. It just kept spinning left. Okay, go. The leader, Johnson, is pitting. Hey, Gavin, how's my rear end looking? You only have one tire dead remaining. We gained a they spot. That's cool. It's fine to me. And some people right. take two tires? Wow, I guess we should have because look at our yeah. left sides. They're I perfectly got fine. That guy. I remember I was telling me to pass you, Gary. Pits are open. Yeah, I got speeding on entry. I guess you can take two tires in this thing, huh? Looks like my left sides weren't even worn at all. Catch the oh, nine. Car. I got an unsafe pit entry penalty because I towed under green, and while I was getting towed, a car came out. So that's cool. Car. Wow, that's a new one. I haven't heard that before. Wow. Car. Car. One lap to green. You'll be lining car up ready. on the Race inside. Car the car car. 77. Car. Yeah, let's uh, get caught up here. I think all the iRacing updates they do every season are just adding new ways for me to get screwed over by uh, scoring issues under yellow. 
Get ready. Going green. So we lose some spots there, apparently because you don't want to take left right, side tires. Be ready. Green, green, green. Sorry, it was telling me to let everybody go. Sorry. Still there, hold your line. Oh, it's really loose down there. You're all good. Still there, hold your line. I don't want to be down here. He really likes to snap on this bottom line. Clear. Seventh position. You've just done a 18.3. I do wonder though, I mean, guys can get away with taking right sides only, it looks like, with 99% on the lefts, but this car certainly doesn't need any help turning, uh, given the tire wear readings. So, maybe that 1% is kind of nice. Still not worth the track position, I'm sure, but just looking for the bright side here of us losing some spots. Thanks for that, Rick. Yeah, you look pretty quick there, buddy. I'm kind of going to intentionally try to enter a little harder. Uh, never mind, that got loose. I was going to say so I can get on the right front, but all that did was get me looser. Really interesting the way this thing drives. In single file. Pit road is closed. It looks like Shell has crashed. Sorry, I wasn't even on throttle and it hit that beam and just went around. Yeah. Pace car is yeah, that's what happened to me too. Pace if you're on brake and you touch that beam, it'll snap. Yeah, that seam is no good. Reminder not to pit on the first lap, it is open. Pit road is now open. Full course yellow, pits are open. Lap cars can pit too. That as well. Didn't know, maybe we got some people staying out or something. In fact, before I forget, I'm going to do this, since you uh, don't need left sides, we've come to learn. Car 58, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. Got a lucky dog coming around, 58, is that Frank? Is that what it said, 58? So, so Gavin, did you put on the green, or got towed under green, you got help for five laps? Yeah, that's Frank. Kind of learning people's numbers a little bit. You had the position when the yellow flag came no, out. I spun under green and it didn't cause a yellow, so then I towed. And then the tow put me like four laps down, or five laps down. And then I got an unsafe pit entry penalty because the yellow came out while I was getting towed. And then I had to go to the back, so I didn't get a wave around. But not like it would have mattered. I'm already five laps down anyway so what a rough day for Gavin with his hardware issues and then now <laughs> that's crap man discovering new glitches that a thing? getting weird pit entry penalties for telling when the yellow comes up I've never heard of that before yeah but like I say I'm at like 1600 yeah they need you on the bug testing team Gavin because you can find all the bugs that no one knows exists full course yellow pits are open yeah that would be nice if I could do something about it <laughs> <laughs> how unlucky to just be towing at the exact moment a caution comes out like I'm sure that the timing just has to be perfect for that to happen and by perfect I mean completely imperfect completely wrong the timing has to be it's pretty wild I'm not feeling too bad out here today though we are P7. Would love to lead a lap at some point. That is crucial in uh, this series, this league series. Lots of points available there. Gonna start on the inside. I really don't want to. I do not like driving down on the bottom. It really wants to snap down there. Man, I have no freaking clue what it keeps wanting me to do. 
It was doing the same to me, telling me to pass people, then get behind them. I think Gavin's entered the twilight zone. Yeah, I did that to me like four times in a row right there. About to go green, stay focused. Everything has nowhere to do where to put it. Time to do your job. Get a pretty good jump there. Outside. Still there, hold your line. Really hard to drive it down at the bottom there. Stay low. Stay low. So... Keep low. Clear outside, outside. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Stay Sean on our outside, I'm outside. really trying to see if I can get around him. Still there, hold your line. Oh, well, we can because caution comes out. Alright, that works. P6 and we'll start on the outside this time. Ah, uh, yeah, no problem, man. I got bumped, which makes me sad because now I'm not going to get the lucky dog. Pit road is now open. It's open. Yeah, Darren, just as soon as I seen you start sliding, I lifted and got on the brake, but I just couldn't. I know Nick said to remind people every time not to pit. On the first lap, but I think uh, we probably got it here. Oh uh, yeah, all good, man. Because we just had a caution. Yeah, did you get your dog? Yeah, I stole it from Devin, unfortunately. At least now you got somebody to race. He's six. Got the lucky hey, dog. Gavin. Gavin's starting to get those lucky dogs. One that's uh, four laps down now, so I don't think I'm racing anybody. I'm the only one that's a lap down, and then it's you four laps down. I'm kind of sad I got bumped there. I'm back to the century, starting right now. Hey, Devin, I didn't get into you when we were all checking up there, did I? No, I got bumped from behind. Throttle pedal feels, feels tiny, weird. Tiny it feels like map, loose or something. Enough, it, it registered. Maybe that's so just I me, but a lucky dog out of that. I don't know. It feels like I don't know. Like it's uh, it's not resisting so as much. Sometimes. I guess is a way to put it. Maybe that's just all in my head. Now in that situation, do you have to tap the guy that's spinning, or? If just somebody, well, I'm just happy I haven't looped this thing yet. I've never really raced the Tour Mod. I've only ever just hot lapped it. And I had no practice here. I joined with 40 seconds left to grid. <laughs> I'd say you're doing pretty good then. I'd say so too. I want to right whine about me being new to this car and being scared. He had 40 seconds to grid. James, was that you asking about the tapping the car, losing the lucky dog. Yeah, I was just scared. Yeah, it's any red. I might have to join some officials. This is pretty fun. I like the way this is driving. Target. It's I just hard to find official like races in this series, it seems like. If you bump into somebody or the wall, I think you should still get the lucky dog. I agree. One to go. Next time by. All right, we'll, we'll be, be the outside this time. This like cup cars, you have to be part of the cause of the caution, right? Or is there any contact in that too? No. If you get any incident, get ready. And it Going registers green. contact, you lose the lucky dog. Off, I just met in real life, but I can't see him at all. Green flag, green flag. Yeah, That's there. You gotta be part of the wreck. Car inside. Clear. Car inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Still there. Hold your line. 
You're in there. Clear inside. Inside. Clear. Alright, Nick's gonna clear us then. That's fine. Hopefully we get ourselves in a nice groove. Some file. Trying to be careful on the throttle still, knowing that it's going to get loose. You passed this lap for Dronowski, 17.4. You've just done a 17.7. They're side by side for the lead, it looks like. Imagine that's probably Tracy and Mitch. They've been uh, the front runners this whole race. Other than Wesley, who ran into trouble early. You're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. Your lap time was 17.7. Thank you, Rick. Yeah, okay, we're halfway to the finish. I think if we want to pass, we might have to do it on the outside. Good luck getting out there, though. Your last lap time was at 17.8. That's not happening. <laughs> Tried a little bit of cut down. Daniel not having fun. He's left. Finding it too difficult to pass, I think he was saying. Might be a case where you just have to wait for the tire wear to come into. Had to hit the brakes. <laughs> Nick getting sideways. I think we saw that in time. Thank you to Sean for seeing it in time, too. Did not run in the back of us. Sorry, Christian, it's not on that stupid scene again. You've just done a 17.7. Oh, Nick in the wall. It's alright, he didn't really even lose that much speed. Interesting how the uh, top three seems to pull away all the time. This time it's Brandon holding on to Tracy and Mitch. Nick very sideways. Took that corner really weird. Sorry, Frank. It goes to the inside. It's all good, man. Just tried to see if I could do something up uh, a lane higher. Not happening. Outside. Clear high. Outside. Still there. That's not happening at all. Still there. Hold your Never line. mind. Yep, not trying that again. Gonna lose a thousand Reload. spots now. Still there. And we're getting the apron. Keep low. Well, that was a horrible idea. Because you just cannot pass on the low side. 
Still there. Still there. That was at 18.2. Okay, low. He's got to fire land. Outside, Lose clear. more spots. Eighth place. Oh, what is Shane doing? He's on the outside, hitting the wall. I don't want to go to his inside though, because we saw what happened last time I did that. That last light was at 18.0. We're on pretty stacked on each other. The last lap time was at 17.0. Internet being a little bit weird. Shane was the winner of the last race here, the Enduro Challenge. He finds himself in front of us right now, P7. There's no, nothing we can do, really. Car inside. Clear inside. Stuck. P8. They're trying to make a move up there. Was that 17.9? Oh, in the wall up there. Nick finally gets around him, but he's getting loose down low. This is looking scary. Alright, trying to snap on me on that seam. Nice move, Jay. That lap was at 18.2. Sideways up ahead. Hear him. Outside. Fighting on our outside. Clear. Oh. No. Oh boy, this is this is rough. Pretty scary. I'll say hi, Mitch. Thanks. P7, I'll take that if we can stay right here. Nick up there in fourth, made his way forward. Really strange how this thing drives. It's like, uh, it goes through the corner, and then once you get kind of like where you're driving off the right rear, then it starts getting real loose, and that's kind of where that snap feeling comes from, I think. P7. 
Nick falling back all of a sudden. I didn't see what happened. But Shane gets around him. That was a 18.0. Time was 17.9. I'm gonna try taking a harder entry right now. Lots of room behind us, that's nice. Guy's getting really close to hitting the wall some more. Sorry. Whoa. Oh, sorry, yeah. Sean no, nearly spins it in uh, front of us. Calibrated there in the middle of that thief. Thought that was at 18.0. All good, I just I was scared I was gonna spin you there, but I think we're fine. wheel is now 45 degrees off center. Wow, that sucked. You've just done a 18.0. How do I get around him, though? I need him to make a big mistake. It's really slow on the entries. Much slower than I would like to be entering. Your lap time was 18.1. Gavin has a lap car coming up. That was at 18. Kevin, you can go up high here, but I'll say hi. Outside. Still there, hold your line. Stay low. Sixth clear high. That's a spy, appreciate him for that. Sean and Nick side by side up there. Sorry, Shane and Nick. Just done a Thanks to Sean. Racing next to us. This is fun. I really like how this is tough to handle. I say that until I spin, but I haven't gotten there yet at least. Same, gets it loose. Car outside. Still there. Okay, stop back out for us. It's okay. We get by him just fine. Sorry, yeah, Gavin, I was making sure they got by me clean. Oh, you're good. I just couldn't see it because of the giant air filter that <laughs> came up on the quick. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. Air filter. I guess it's oh, not, yeah, a, not the engine. Same here, man. That thing's too big. It's air filter. V6. See, I'm learning. Learning as this race goes on. The lap time was at 18.0. Doing my best, trying to hit good laps. Might be catching Shane just a little. Thank you. I'll just done it. I'll pay. Point zero. I'll pay. I got. Shane goes low there. Whoa! Someone going way low. That's Kevin. I've just done it. 
zero. That's a bad corner. At least on entry. Shane's brave running that low line. Feels really unsettled down there for me. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Closer to the end of this thing. And, uh, just over 25 to go. A little too hard there, pushed up. That lap time was 18.1. Lap traffic? No, that's not lap traffic. That's Brandon. That's falling off the main group. Starting to get bunched up a little here. Shane gets very sideways. Just done 18.0. Sideways a little bit again. How about you buy him though? No idea. Work. We're getting all bunched up. Twenty to go. Was Looks like Brandon's holding on for dear life up there. Nick desperately trying to get by him. Very hard to pass down low though. Nick just do a slide job? I don't know. Really love to get the Brandons outside if I can. Shane's got to get there first. Do it very low. Somehow gets it to stick. I don't think I'd be able to get it to stick if I tried that. Go ahead, man. Sorry. Oh, not what we need. <laughs> Brandon blinking a little bit. You've just done it. Thank 18. you. Not happening. I'm gonna wreck it if I try to drive down there. I just know it. No confidence at all with that idea. Now you got some good speed, Devin. Oh, contact! I think up ahead. It feels like I'm skating. It's like it's everywhere. Car outside. You'll be to me. <laughs> Go low. Not gonna happen down here. Clear outside. 
12 to go. Sorry, I tried to slow it down in time. I spammed on the brakes. No, it's good. Hit that super team again. Pass the paid car. Man, get involved in another freaking wreck. It's my fault. I mean, I sh should I have been? I should have been able to avoid on my bet. I'm the lucky dog. How does this gonna work? You gotta wait. Or can I pit? Pit road is now open. Four course yellow. Pits are open. Got ten left to go. Reminder not to pit the first lap. It's open. So when I get the lucky dog? Car 24. Got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Oh everybody pits here, I think I stay out for the bonus points. Man, I can't believe I couldn't slow down in time. Can't I just have one race where I don't run into somebody? One more lap or no? No, you, you can go on, you can go on now. The leader, Dronowski, is pitting. Dang it, Nick. I wanted that... What you they have? It's fine, you got loads. Pit boxing, 10. This is the only way I'm going to manage to get any laps back. 5, 3, 2, 1. Right here. I feel real dumb for taking four tires there. Uh, caution background, what, lap 50? Something like that? All clear, punch it! You're out of right set the tires. Line up single file. Alright. 17 car. Uh, we got some speeding it sounds like. From Chad. Four course yellow. It's a red light lucky dog. Up, six, well, I tried hopping out of my rig to reset my steering wheel and ended up not doing it in time and got caught speeding. Oh man, that stinks. He was having a great run. Pasta, one. Yeah. Oh, the lucky dog, guys. So we're in P4. Nick did not pit. Mitch ended up coming in, I guess. I thought he stayed out too, but it says on race lap he did pit, so. We're in a pretty good spot. P4, we had a good pit stop. We took right sides only. Gotta remember that. Side sides should be good. They're 98-98. Car is off. Time to do your job. Green, green, green. My best on the jump. Five, five to go. We're in a podium position. Car inside, clear inside. Back in third. Keep hustling. Nick on the old tires. Four laps to go. Side. The lap time was at 15 Keep 6. They get past him quick. There is a car on the high side. The next car is the lead up. Clear. Do it. That one for the lead up there is Mitch and Tracy. Two more. Let's go. Back in third. Keep hustling. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. Come on to the white flag. Flag 
last lap. Bring Outside. Keep low. Clear. <laughs> Outside. Go low. Dang Clear it. Clear high. Good night, everybody. Ooh, P3. All right. Well done. Decent drive. All good right. Race there's ticket flag. Break. Good race. Good win. Good place finish. Oh, we get podium in our first ever tour mod race. All right. I didn't get out of time on my luck. I think we had earlier, like, a 17, 18 laps side by side battle, man. Um, pushed up a little bit out of that final corner, really trying to get by Tracy, but hopefully not too bad. Let's take a look at it. Nick on the geriatric tires there. Pretty crazy how long he stayed out. I was given lots of room, I think. Much yeah, more room than I thought. That. Yeah. Nice place to finish. Yeah, that, that was completely fine. Looking back at the replay, I was leaving so much space on the right side. I've never driven this thing before, and I heard that the tires stick out, so I was, like, overcorrecting. <laughs> Yeah, you were going easy on me. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm a freaking like car length down. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Have, was I doing that the whole friggin' race? I bet I, I mean, I had to have been. I always hear about people like, oh man, I, I'm, it sticks out so far to the right. <laughs> There's gotta be another like side by side time I had out here. I don't know. <laughs> but. Oh well, maybe we'll see some more in the uh, incidents. The uh, right side tires worked just fine on that last uh, restart. That was perfectly fine. Is uh, Shane still here? Uh, we'll we'll see that in the incidents as well. Some reason. We'll see that. I feel like I probably had plenty of time to uh, move to the right. I just. <clears throat> So we had Brandon blinking a lot early on. Some hit stops here. Oh, Shane did the same thing to him. It sounds to Dan. It sounds like we'll probably see that too. We got to move past all this Brandon blinkage, though. Ooh, Nick off the wall a little bit, maybe. Hard to say. They both were kind of like going a little bit farther up the track, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I am not an expert with this car. There's Wesley turning. Oh, man. He gets a big chunk of the inside wall. That's what happened to him. Gavin. Yeah, that's exactly. That's exactly why I wasn't running that low line. It's almost like it bottoms out or something and spins like a top. That's exactly what happened to me in practice. That low line, and then all of a sudden it just like starts turning left. It's a very strange feeling. And then uh, Gavin got stuck down there, and then he had one million different problems. Oh man, Dakota gets destroyed. Middle of the corner. 
Frank just uh, catches up to him a lot faster than he expected, I'm sure. Sends him around. Ooh, and then I think that was Daniel trying to slow down for him and spinning. More pitting early on, me not knowing that you can take two tires. Yeah, both Mitch and Tracy knew it. Looks like. Oh, I heard Ethan say something in the chat about this. Hitting the pit barrels. Really strange pit entry here at Kern. So forgivable, understandable why that would happen. Daniel gets that same exact thing on that bottom line. I'm glad I discovered that when I was practicing. Because I would have done the same exact thing during the race. I just had to completely avoid the bottom line because it does that for some reason. It doesn't even feel like a normal snap because it's not like you have... You really even have all that much wheel in it at that point in the corner. It's just like it... It reaches this point where it just starts turning left on you. I don't know. Brandon, is he blinking some more? Yep. Uh-oh. Dan, this is, uh... What Shane was talking about, he gets into Dan. Yeah, weird snap on that seam, and then Shane not able to slow down for him. He's right behind him following, and he has no time to react. I feel like I probably had more time to react, to be honest, so we'll see how bad it was. Just because I'm out here wrecking everybody now, I guess that's just what I do now. I don't know. I had so much time. Um, garbage. Why can't I do one race without wrecking somebody? Just, I don't react to it in time. I'm driving, I'm driving. He's sideways. I should be reacting to it now, but I, I'm going to, for too long. I don't react in enough time. I don't know what I'm doing. But by the time I finally do react to it, I'm hard on the brakes. Not enough. I just I have to react better. Ugh. See, I was like, I, I entered high because I was trying to get a run on him. Too worried about that, I guess. Just, I had I had so much time though. So. Off pit road, and that'll do it for this one. P three, but I, I run into somebody again. Because I, I just keep running into people. I don't know what my problem is. I just, I'm terrible. But, I don't know. Um, we'll look at the race results page now. After 150 laps here in the uh, Tour Modified. Here it is. Fortunately, we don't lead any laps. I wanted to. I was definitely going to go for it if I could, but we get uh, P3. Less points than Nick, because he got the laps led. Or the lap, yeah, laps led. He got three of them. So he actually gets more points, even though he uh, finishes one spot behind us. And those guys ahead, big points haul, because they got laps led. Basically, it's the fastest lap. And uh, you can see the rest of the field here. And uh, we'll also bring up the league standings after this race. Mitch, now the points leader. He gets a huge amount of points that race. 
We finished third and so have found ourselves in P2 in the standings. But uh, really no bonus points for us other than qualifying points, I guess. And we find ourselves nine points ahead of Shane, who is in third. Who I uh, spun around this race, so probably should have been up by us. I don't know, man. I just stink. I'm sorry. But that'll do it for this one. Um, just going to try not to complain too much about myself. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, tour modifieds. That'll do it. See ya.